Good morning, everyone. I survived the hurricane. I made it through Hurricane Lee. And it is a beautiful morning, day after the hurricane. Look at this, blue skies and everything. It is day 210 on the Appalachian Trail. This is the Appalachian Trail show, the grind until you make it to Katahdin show, the no pain, no rain, no main show, the pain and suffering show, the kill all the mosquitoes show, the I do not like slugs show. The Chin Check the Other Hikers show. <laughs> uh, I'm your host, Heisenberg, a.k.a. Tally, a.k.a. Sisyphus Rex. Still a little windy. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful day. Short miles, man. I'm so close now. I don't care. I'm not doing big miles anymore. It's a beautiful day. A little chilly. I'm on the trail again. Do, do. Now, where's the sign for north? I see one for going south. Anyway, I need to go that way. <sighs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. We're going north on the trail again. Look at this path, guys. This is the nicest trail I've seen since Shenandoah in Virginia. We're finally on a trail. It is no longer... Uh, I don't know how to describe Southern Maine. Southern Maine was just an S-H-I-T show. That's what it was. There's no, there's no getting around that. That's what it was. Everybody said Maine was magical. Ha! Ha! Oh, okay. Yeah. It is magical if you are delusional, you know? And I've heard it is very... It's, 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 you're not supposed to confront the delusional people with their delusions. You just, you just smile and nod. So that's what I've been doing. People are like, oh, Maine's magical. Okay, you've never hiked in Maine. You're delusional. But anyway, this, this is actually nice. This is pretty. Reminds me of Lake Murray back at home. Smaller. I almost stepped on you, buddy. Uh, can y'all see him? Where? There he is. Just a garter snake. I almost stepped on him, though. He scared me. You gonna push him away? Oh, oh, he's coming back. He pissed him off, man. Oh, we're gonna die. Right now, I am in the middle of the woods. That is a weird place to forget your crutches. I'm glad I'm not trying to hitch on this road. Nobody. Yeah, that's be a rough hitch. I'm still concerned with, though about those crutches. I have a feeling there's someone out here with a cast lost in the woods. <laughs> it's hard for me to get in the frame. Sandy stream and middle road, 3.3 miles. That's where I'm heading. And it's 12.30. Making good time today, guys. Just when I thought the trail was getting nicer, that happens. People ask me, Heisenberg, where's the water source on the trail? <laughs> it is the trail. <laughs> oh, I hate this. West Cary Pond Lean To, 100 yards. I can even see it. Uh. I thought I could see it through the woods. Oh, I see, you shall see the squirrel. These little red squirrels are mean, man, and they're talkative. They have big mouths for little guys. You think y'all see him? Mm. See him looking at me? There he goes. Look at him. Brazen. Brazen little squirrels. 
and they have big mouths too for such small little creatures, they will talk some SHIT to you. This guy has no fear whatsoever. There he is. <laughs> What's he doing? I see you. Mm. <laughs> Look at him. Look here, little guy. Don't run at me like that. I have PTSD, man. I'm liable to flip on you. <laughs> oh, you are a squirrely little dude. This, my friends, is a bog. I've complained a lot about Maine. The bodies of water are pretty. Check this out. I'm going to read it for you because it's a little hard to see. It says, the Great Carrying Place, 1775 Arnold Expedition Portage Route. If you don't know what a portage is, that's when you pull your boats out of the water and carry them around a, uh, an obstacle. In 1775, a small American army of about 100 soldiers under the command of Colonel Benedict Arnold, the traitor, passed over the 13-mile Great Carrying Place between the Kennebec and Dead Rivers. Colonel Arnold and several companies encamped here on October 14th. On the following day, they crossed West Cary Pond in their bateau boat and continued over the steep ridge to the west and on to the Dead River. They then proceeded through the wilderness to attack their goal, Quebec. The Appalachian Trail between Middle and West Cary Ponds precisely follows the Old, old Portage Trail. So, Benedict Arnold was here. And now I am. I see you up there. What you doing, little fella? He's eating. What you eating, a pine cone? It's like, don't disturb me. <laughs> I just fell twice in five minutes. I'm not sitting down because I chose to sit down. <laughs> Does it hurt, you may ask? Oh, does it hurt, you may ask? Yeah, my pride stings a little. And my tailbone. I've been told this is moose territory. The train, you got the bog and the marsh. They like, they like the water and hanging out in the dense brush. Have you yet to see a moose? We saw moose tracks today. I forgot to pull out the camera and show you the moose tracks. It looks like deer tracks, but big. Woo, I don't want to meet a moose in person. I hear they're ornery creatures. Big, ornery creatures. Yeah. Deer, I can deal with a deer, but not, not a, a, a one-ton, you know, moose thing coming at me. Anyway, they like this kind of terrain. I don't like this terrain. I don't like wet marshes, but they like it. Anyway. I'm here at Sandy Spring. Sandy Spring? Sandy Stream. That's a big spring if it were a spring. Last water source. I'm gonna fill up water. My feet are tired. Find a campsite for the night. Oh, I may shoot some more video. I don't know. We'll see. I filled up on water. Now I'm looking for a site, but if y'all can't tell, huh. Slim pickings. The terrain is not favorable for a campsite. Ooh, but up here, I like pine straw. Pine straw is usually good. I think I might find something up here. Ooh, I'm ready to call it a day. I was ready to call it a day back at that stream. I've been carrying, I have five liters of water on me. I've been carrying that since the stream. Oh, I'll find something here. Ooh, look at this. Oh, look at this. 
Pine straw, I like soft pine straw. That makes for a good tent spot. Ooh, maybe out there. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go hunting, bye. No dice, I went out there and there's standing water. I don't wanna camp there because it's gonna rain tomorrow. Uh-uh, nope. And also there was a red squirrel that was very uh, agitated. And I don't like agitated squirrels because they will throw things at you. And that's the last thing I want. I do not want pine cones and nuts being thrown at me at night. Ha ha, I found my place, an old logging road. The surface isn't the best, but it's flat and it's reasonably dry. That's what I need. So I don't like camping in bogs. If I keep going down the trail, bog, nothing but bog. Mm. Some ATV tracks. Nah, anyway, they can, they can they can figure it out. I'm gonna camp here. They can they can drive around. <laughs> 